When we did gene finding, we found that there's around 10,000 genes in each species of tapeworm. For Echinococcus multilocularis, we've been trying to make sure that these gene models are of as high quality as possible. So with support of RNA-seq and similarity, we have manually curated more than half of these genes. One funny thing which we found when we looked at the genes were that tapeworms have polycystrons and they do splice lead their transplicing. So a polycystron is a region where you have one promoter shared by several genes. So they get transcribed together but then you have a splice leader coming in and breaking up the transcript so you have two separate transcripts which can be turned into proteins. We also found that other regular genes, not in polycystrons, also can do transplicing. So they can either be regularly cis-spliced or they can be transpliced. And in this case you have two alternative splice forms of it. The splice leader is a short sequence which comes from elsewhere in the genome. In Multilocularis we found 83 splice leader loci, many in tandem repeats, and probably we can find many more. We still don't know exactly which types of genes get uh, transpliced and when they get transpliced, but Hopefully, by doing more RNA-seq, we can better understand the mechanisms behind it.